And next we have our very own Sacramento local artist, Mr. Jerry Goss. I can't wait for this interview. And I'm here with artist Jerry Goss. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you today? I'm actually really good. I can't complain. All right. Well, now I know uh, that you are uh, do painting and stuff as an artist, but I know that uh, before we get into that, I know that you have a history of doing other things. Can you give us a little background about yourself, Jerry? Well, um, I've been in Sacramento since 1999, but prior to that, I won a trip to California in 1982, designing and making clothing. And so that's how I got to California. I won a trip. I was only supposed to be here for a week and things just kept going on and on and on. <laughs> so I've had this career as a fashion person in the Bay Area. And then, you know, right before I got ready to move to Sacramento, I, I got a job as a stylist for Nordstrom. Okay. Okay. And I worked for Nordstrom for 12 years, ended my career here in Sacramento as visual merchandising manager. And then I also became a um, professor at American River College. I taught visual merchandising and um, fashion promotion there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. All while being a, an artist, developing my career as an artist at night when my kids were sleeping. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot more uh, to, uh, to Jerry's story than it seems. So uh, what is it that got you into the painting then away from the fashion? Well, when I got to Sacramento, there was no fashion per se. So um, I went around and I tried to discover what was going to be the wind I should jump in when I got here. And so I n noticed that there were a lot of galleries and there were visual artists around town. So I figured, well, hey, I might as well get into painting. I'll do my art. Okay. And so that's what did it. Oh, wow. Okay. That's fantastic. And so I've, I've uh, looked at your work online and uh, everything, and I've been very impressed with it. And I've thought that it looks just as good as art that you see anywhere. Uh, so uh, we have uh, here, you've brought here some of your work, and we have here this uh, very lovely piece uh, here that, in my mind, looks kind of like a turntable now. Can you... Well, can that's you what it is. This, is this, this particular piece is called Old School. What's funny is I recently went to Ross Department Store, uh -huh. and they had the Father's Day gifts there. Okay. And they had turntables and a briefcase. Okay. And so I paid $25 for this turntable, and I've been painting to music ever since. So for $25, I bought a new turntable. I've always held on to my record collection. Mm. So, and I've had a turntable, but this one is portable. And I play my music again. So this is actually in dedication. I painted it a while ago, but I brought it out now because I've been in love with my turntable lately. Wow, yeah. And there is a return to records. Yeah, I've seen that, uh, that that's uh, coming back uh, into, you know, in style and everything like that. The millennial generation's really uh, taken a hold to that and stuff. Well, I've and never really gotten rid of mine. So it's like, I guess I'm millennial too. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And so, now how long does it take for you to complete a piece of art like this? Well, I um, make certain that I paint every day. So I might get into a painting and it may come about in a few hours or it may come about in a couple of days depending on how thick the application of paint is. You know, uh, I've had to learn to get out of my way because I used to get paint all over myself because I'm too busy trying to paint. So I'm rubbing all over things like that. So I've had to uh, learn how to walk away from a painting while it's wet. Okay. And so that's caused me to do more than one at one time. Oh, wow. So while one dries, another one's worked on, and that type of thing like that. Oh, wow. Well, you know, as an artist, that's an interesting thing, how your you know, workflow develops and stuff like that just through doing the work sure. and whatnot. Uh, now, do you have another piece uh, that here yeah, that, with okay. us that you can I, um, show us? I'm also big on diversity. Okay. So this particular piece that I did right here is called We're All In This Together. So it's very appropriate for the times we're living in right now. It is so, appropriate, and you know, I just I have to mention that it's appropriate for our show as well because uh, Sacktown Underground. One of the biggest things that we do push is that idea uh, concept that we are all in it together. Sure, you know, mm -hmm. and 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 I I've been doing this particular style. This is what I came to Sacramento painting these kids. Hmm. Okay, and these kids have been uh, designed based on my kids, watching my kids run around my house when they were babies and stuff. So now I am a grandfather. So those are the kids I'm watching again. Okay. So I have this guy here with the red and white shirt that I call Otis. Okay. I'm Otis actually. My name is, I painted the name of Goss, which is Jerry Otis Simpson. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. And if you look at their mouths, they all have the round mouths. They do, Which yes. is the Otis mouth. Oh, okay. But it's also, it's to, to celebrate things I've been told to be ashamed of. You know, my lips, my hair, that type of stuff like that. Yes. So the guy with the red shirt, when you see, you see the guy with the red and white shirt, that's actually Otis. That's me. That's Otis. Okay. Yeah. And, uh -huh. they, you know, basically, I want people to know that we're all basically the same. 
that's why I gave them all the same mouths. You know, underneath underneath everything, when you get re- de- really re- deep down underneath, yes, it's, there's a sense of sameness there. Yes, and I and I, I definitely connect with that, and I'm sure that our audience uh, at home and on uh, that's watching online as well connects with that. Sure. Um, what else do you have here for us, Jerry? Okay, this particular piece is called "The World Is a Ghetto." The world is a ghetto. The world is a ghetto. The whole world, not just a certain part or a certain neighborhood. The whole world is a ghetto. We all live in ruins when you get right down to it. Okay. So, you know, what I, I, I tried to stress about the things that are really crazy. And, you know, I did this painting back in 2010. Okay. But I'm highlighting racism. I'm highlighting hate. I'm, highlight, I'm high, highlighting hunger. Yes. You know, unemployment, slavery, abuse. AIDS, poverty, okay? And what is this one? Bullying. These are all things that I hear people talk about, but they don't talk about them enough. So it's up to us artists to bring things forth and, and make it important. You know, what I may not want to hear about from your mouth, uh-huh. I may pay attention to through a painting. Wow, okay. So sometimes a painting will speak a lot louder than what I can say. I agree with that. Yeah, I think then that's a you know part of the the purpose of art is to uh, speak and you know teach and bring up uh, subjects and topics that may be more difficult to approach through conversation sure. and things like that. Sure, especially you know like uh, uh, when it comes to people coming together and having this talk that we need right now. You know, there's a conversation about racism on all levels in America. So maybe you'll start seeing more artists talk about it. Right. Well, and, art. And, and and you know, and you painted this. I think you said in two thousand ten. Two thousand ten. And uh, and yes, it's true that it's uh, definitely something that's still relevant. We've seen uh, events happen in in the last just week. Last uh, week. Uh, last you know. hour. Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you, know, you know that. And and you know the sad part about it, it is funny because it still keeps going on. Right. You know, after all these years, you're seeing the same type of stuff. People are keep bringing up the same type of stuff. So it's time for the world to heal. Yes, you know. and, and I, I think that, uh, you know, art is uh, one of the means that we have uh, to of healing the world. bring about that sure. healing and stuff. And, you know, Jerry, I noticed there, I, I see the circle there. Now, is that the lips? Like that the, circle is, mouth, once again, that's the O for Otis. Okay. That's, that's Otis. That's the, okay. And the world, the world is the ghetto. The, you know, the world is shaped differently for everybody. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Depends on where you're from. Yes, sir. Okay, so we see, we all see the world differently. Um, and like I said, through an, as an artist, I get a chance to create my own world. So it might be a little crazy to some people, but I'm still trying to deliver the same messages that, uh, about us being people that need each other. That's right. You know, that's the real thing. That's the real communication in my art, especially the figurative type stuff. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, at the end of the day, we're, uh, you know, one neighborhood, we're one state, we're one nation, we're one planet. And, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm, I and very much like uh, this art that, uh, you know, points that out sure. and things like that. Sure. Now, so where would the uh, audience be able to see more of your art or, ref, or uh, you know? Okay, I have a gallery in Sacramento, um, 1825 Del Paso Boulevard. It's called Goss Art Gallery Studio. I'm actually last month made my second year that I've been there. Wow, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, my, my most important reason for being in that part of town is I want to be a part of what makes it come alive. I want young people who don't nor- normally get a chance to go downtown to an art museum to see that there's one in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That there's art there and it's open to everybody. Come just knock on, you don't even have to knock on the door, just open it. Well, okay, well that, that, that's fantastic and inspiring. Now, uh, I'm, oh, okay, I'm there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 11.30 to 7, so this way you don't come every day. Okay, thir- that's artist hours, you guys, so <laughs> just note that and stuff. And just and also, now this art is for sale Yeah, all the art well. is for sale, yes. Okay. All the art is always for sale. I never do prints. I haven't done prints. People say, well, why don't you do prints? I, well, I'm a twin. Everything in my life has always had to be like somebody else's, so I get this here fear of having a thousand of my paintings stuck in a garage somewhere. Right. So okay. I just, you know, if you get that one, then you got it. Then that's yours. It's a unique, uh, it's you know, a unique experience. Experience. That's yes. right. Yes. All right. Well, uh, Jerry, you know, we thank you uh, very much oh, for my pleasure. Uh, stopping by Sacktown Underground you. and uh, best wishes with the art. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Uh, Tiffany, back to you. If you want to know where to find Jerry Goss and his art, go to the Goss Art Studio here in Sacramento. His art is one of a kind. I'm sure there's a piece there just for you.